What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a comparison video between the Cinch PS5 Pro and the Scuf Reflex FPS. And if you guys like Destiny 2 and want to see content in the form of guides, class builds, weapon and armor recommendations for PvE and PvP, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos. Okay, so I have already made an unboxing slash review for both of these controllers. And if you guys would like to actually see those, then I will put a link to both of them in the description box below, as well as at the end of this video. As a disclaimer, custom controllers aren't for everyone. And yes, they can be expensive. I have had both of these controllers for a little over three weeks now, and I have had a little bit of time to play around with them in Destiny 2 as well as Call of Duty. While yes, I am affiliated with Cinch Gaming, Neither Cinch nor Scuff is paying me to do this video. I wanted to do this comparison to help you guys make a decision on which controller is best for you. I have taken a lot of time and notes and I will be scoring these two companies controllers based on several categories and or features. Um, and each category and or feature will be worth one point and those categories slash features are functionality, Customization, remappability, build quality, battery life, weight, warranty, price, customer service, accessories, and availability. At first, I was gonna actually sell one of these controllers, but then I decided to actually do a giveaway instead. So, details of the giveaway will be towards the end of this video. From here on out, I will refer to each controller as the Cinch or Scuff, but I will be talking about the Cinch PS5 Pro and the Scuf Reflex FPS specifically in this video. So let's get started with the first category, which is functionality. So both controllers do basically the same thing. Both have clicky bumpers and triggers, both have the rumbles removed, and both have a grip. Only difference in functionality is that one has buttons and the other has paddles, so both controllers will go ahead and get one point each. Next, let's go ahead and talk about customization. So, for this feature, we are talking completely about aesthetics. The Cinch has an almost endless amount of customizations, while the Scuf does not. You really only get a little more than a few colors with Scuf, and that's just it. So in the category for customization, one point will be awarded to Cinch. Next, let's go ahead and talk about remappability. While both controllers have an extra button or paddles, only the Scuf offers remappability of four paddles and with three different profiles on board the controller, while as of this video, the Cinch only offers two buttons. The extra buttons on the Cinch are static and you cannot remap them to different buttons after you have already chosen which buttons you want them to be. So, Scuf gets one point. Next, let's go ahead and talk about build quality. While I love the feel of the Cinch, the Scuf just feels like a more premium controller like if it actually came off of an assembly line, and given that the Scuf is now owned by Corsair, it probably did. Unfortunately, on my Cinch, my bumpers rattle a little, but it's not game breaking. Either way, one point to Scuf. And here's like a little sound test so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. That's the scuff, and then this is the cinch. Next, let's go ahead and talk about battery life. While I can't show you guys hours of testing in this video, both controllers are actually using the standard PS5 battery. The cinch controller had 11 to 14 hours of battery life, and the scuff controller had 10 to 12 hours, and I'm pretty sure this is due to the scuff having the attached module on the back. So this right here. So with that said, Cinch will get one point. Next, let's go ahead and talk about weight of the controllers. As for the weight of the controllers, the Cinch weighs 7.6 ounces and the Scuf weighs 8.2 ounces. In the competitive scene, a lighter controller is always better. So one point will be awarded to Cinch. Next, let's go ahead and talk about warranty. Out of both companies, 
Cinch is the only one that offers a three month standard warranty. Both companies offer a six month warranty, but with Scuff, it's actually free. And it actually costs $30 extra with Cinch. So one point will go to Scuff. Next, let's actually go ahead and talk about pricing. Now, the price will vary on the controllers due to Cinch offering a send-in service as well as all of the customization options that you have available to you. Scuff has a standard price of close to $280 and this includes shipping and tax. More depending on your location. But the Cinch still gets the point for the price because it is possible to get a Cinch with the same functionality as the Scuff, i.e. clicky bumpers and triggers as well as extra buttons and some customization options that still will be cheaper than the Scuff Reflex FPS. Next, let's go ahead and talk about customer service. Given the state of both companies, I'm talking about new ownership around the board. Customer service is a lot better than it was in the past and I'm saying this from experience. Both companies send you email updates on your orders and both companies send you an automatic email as a response so you know that they received a concern. However, Cinch has a ticketing service that gets plummeted with emails from the same people with the same issues. While it's not their fault, I'm pretty sure it is frustrating for them, so it's hard to get anyone to respond to you in a timely fashion. Not to mention, it could possibly take one to two weeks to actually hear back from someone. Scuff, on the other hand, the wait to hear back from someone is more like three to five days, but this once again is probably due to Corsair taking a good chunk of the tickets they receive. While yes, this may still be a long time period, it is still shorter than a cinch. So Scuff will actually get the point for customer service. Next, let's go ahead and talk about accessories. The Scuff comes with a nicely braided cable as well as two dome thumbsticks one normal size one and one a little bit longer. The Cinch doesn't come with any accessories unless you buy them extra. So one point will go to Scuff. And for the last feature, we are going to go ahead and talk about availability. As of this video, you can go on both websites and not have the same experience. With Cinch, you can go ahead and customize the new look for your PlayStation 5 controller, pay for it, and wait for the controller to come in, which could take about one to five weeks if you aren't using the send-in service. Scuff, on the other hand, you need to sign up using your email just to get on a waiting list, and that could take about one to four weeks, and by then, you may not even have the money to actually purchase the controller. Not to mention the time after you order the controller for it to actually get to you. So, the last point goes to Cinch. So, for the verdict, as you guys can see, we have a tie between the Cinch PS5 Pro and the Scuff Reflex FPS for this comparison. But what is the best controller? Better yet, what is the best controller for you? I want you, the viewer, to weigh your options and choose what features matter to you the most and decide what controller you would like to get. If you decide to get a Cinch, then go ahead and use my promo code, which is RXRP, to save yourself 5% off your order. Or, if you plan on getting a Scuff, go ahead and use promo code FALLOUT to get 5% off your order from Scuff as well. That coupon code belongs to Destiny 2 player Fallout Plays, and no, we are not friends, and he didn't ask me to put his coupon code in this video. I just figured it would be a nice thing to do to save you guys some money. For me personally, and this is completely 100% unbiased, I prefer buttons over paddles on my custom controllers because there is one static location to put your fingers. It doesn't have to be a cinch controller. It could be any controller that has buttons. Extra buttons are just easier for me and your fingers don't move or slip off the extra buttons. To me, using a controller that has paddles, there is a lot more headroom for error and location for your fingers to actually move around, which makes for an easier time to accidentally hit the paddle and jump when you actually wanted to melee in order to finish off your opponent. This has happened to me several times with the Scuff Reflex FPS, but that may not be the case for everyone. However, it is the case for me. 
So let me know what you guys think of a Cinch PS5 Pro controller versus a Scuf Reflex FPS down in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you guys actually plan on getting one of these controllers and from which company. Now, as I said earlier on in this video, I will be doing a giveaway for one of these controllers and all you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, and then write in the comments which controller you would like, either Cinch or Scuff. That is all. However, sharing this video would be a nice gesture as well, but you do not have to. Links to my social media will be in the description box below of this video, and all requirements will definitely be verified before a winner is picked. This giveaway will last until May the 4th be with you of 2022. And then I will go ahead and pick the winner on Friday, May the 6th. However, do not get disgruntled because I will be doing more giveaways in the future. So stay tuned and good luck to everyone. Now, if there is a controller or accessory that you guys would like me to do a review on, or if you would like to send me something to review, let me know down in the comment section and we can link up to make that happen. One of my good friends and shout out to Cold actually makes his own PlayStation 5 controllers and I will be doing an unbiased review on that as soon as he actually gets it to me. However, I will not do a review for any illegal items that cannot be used in legal tournaments just so you guys know that ahead of time. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.